Right, so hello guys, welcome to another pickups video. It's been a while, I've been on hiatus with the YouTube videos, but still collecting and buying quite a lot. Um, so let's dig it through, I'll just jump straight in somewhere. Where to start, where to start. Okay, so, haven't been going to too many boot sales, I've actually moved house, um, different county, not sure where the best place to buy retro is yet. The boot sale here is, is alright though, but I haven't picked them much yet. So the first thing I got last week is, let's get out of the, uh, the case here, got a nice lime green Game Boy Colour, all works, um, the screen's a little bit, you know, well used, but the um, rest is nice nick, just needs to buy a new screen for it. The pain in the arse is it actually has its battery cover, but the clips, you know, um, been broken so it just, it doesn't stay on. See what I mean, like the clip it. I don't think it's really repairable, so let's get to order another battery cover from eBay. But yeah, I was made up for that. Um, I was just sitting there on the store, I didn't even get to the boot sale early. Um, quite over half seven ish, quarter to eight, which isn't early in boot sale land. And I was just sitting there on the table, full display, and I said, How much do you want for that? She wanted three quid, didn't even argue with her. It was sitting with a game. Who wants to be a millionaire game with advanced game? She said was for it, and I was like, no, that doesn't even fit in there. That's not for that. Uh, but yeah, so she wanted three quid. I was like, yeah, happy to pay three quid. Then I noticed next to it on the store was also um, an Nintendo DS case, a bit battered. Um, opened it up, empty. I said, oh, will you throw that in with it? She was like, yeah. But it does have a couple of DS games in it, and unfortunately, they're not great ones. We've got My Sims. Type of just my Sims Nintendo DS, and um, we've got where's Imagine Games Imagine Champion Rider. Oh, it's probably gonna be a load of shite. Yeah, if they're any good to anyone, let me know because I'm not keeping them. But yeah, for free quid, I was quite happy with that, so there you go, got the ball rolling. So, going on that boot tail, there, was, um, there wasn't much, there wasn't even much PS2 games or anything, I was quite shocked. Funny enough, one of the last stores I came to had a Game Boy game. Just the one sitting there randomly, she wanted a quid for it, so yeah, I gave her a quid. It's just alleyway, which is great because I don't have alleyway. And it's really nice condition. So this, uh, all these pickups are going to be a mixture of like eBay, Facebook groups, um, booters, a few charity shops. Um, yeah, so this one was a Facebook deal. Um, I got a bundle of N64 games and a SNES game together for 10 quid. Okay, so I had Super Mario 64, which I've already got, so I moved that on already. Nearly got 10 quid back for it, so that's pretty cool, paid for the bundle. Got WrestleMania for the SNES, Super WrestleMania, LGN. See, I haven't paid this one, but I hope it's alright. Got Fighters Destiny for the N64, which is one of the few Fighters games on the N64. There's this, there's Killer Instinct. I'm sure there's many more. And um, Pokemon Snap. Which is awesome because I'm not a Pokemon fan, not really a big Pokemon collector. Um, but I have heard this game is, is, is fun even though it shouldn't be because I think you're just literally on rails taking pictures of Pokemon. But I've also wanted to give that a go because that's really cool. Alright, so the ball is rolling. Talking of bundles, all right, I've got another bundle from eBay which I paid quite a lot for for me. The bundle money. It was £60. But obviously I paid £60 for it because I was quite happy for the bundle. So, the bundle came with a few games that I've already moved on, so I might as well list them now. There's um, a GameCube bundle that came with Super Smash Bros. Melee, in excellent condition, moved that on. And Mario Kart Double Dash, in excellent condition, moved that on. Uh, Star Fox Adventures, moved that on. So you can start to see I'm already making back some at like £60, that's kind of what I'm doing lately, is buying bundles. Um, of stuff which have a few doubles in, get rid of the doubles, keep them what I want. Um, what I wanted to keep from the £60 was Donkey Kong a pack, which is awesome and in great condition. I've got loads of box bongos, I've got loads of copies of Donkey Konga, but I've never had the actual Donkey Konga pack. And you know, bongos in there are really nice nick as well. I can show that a bit. So I'm really happy with that. Now all I want is the Donkey Konga 2 pack. 2 pack. <laughs> yeah, they'll be happy. So that was in the bundle. Also, Got boxes and shite all around me, I'm gonna say. Boxed Wayfair controller in really nice condition. 
It's got like a slight bit of yellow in it. It's a bit dirty because I've been using it. Slight bit of yellow on the stick, but like really clean. And the box is awesome. So obviously this is the standout feature of the bundle for a £60 bundle. I think these are going for like 30, 40 quid anyway, boxed, which is a bit of a piss take, but it is one of the best controllers. So this is my second wave bear now, which is cool. And I thought it's handy with the um, Smash Bros coming out on a Wii U with a GameCube port thing. Apparently you can use these wave bear controllers in there as well, so that's always a good idea. So that was with it. And there's one other game that I kept, which I didn't move on, which I'll try and find. Beautiful Joe, which is in good nick. I mean, the cover's a little bit wrinkled, it doesn't look water damaged. Maybe it's just been slightly damp, I'm not sure, but it looks looks alright. All complete, manual in there. Manual's in really good condition. Disc is lovely. And this game is hard as fucking nails. <laughs> I gave it a go the other day and I cannot get very far in that game at all. But it's good fun, I mean, I like the style of it and stuff, it's just fucking rock solid. So yeah, so that was a cool bundle, so um, the games that I moved on, the Smash Bros, the Mario Kart, Star Fox Adventures, I was stuck into CEX, that's what I've been doing lately with a lot of stuff. eBay charges already start to piss me off lately, and yet, and people seem to be messing you around more and more on eBay lately when you're a seller. Definitely a buyer's mark at the moment, so that's cool. So yeah, so talking of eBay, the game everybody's been waiting for. Funky Barn on Wii U. Um, this is actually an Australian copy. Something a bit cool, a bit different. Um, it was two ninety nine posted, so I thought, yeah, fuck it. Another one I picked up, which I didn't pay too much for. Yeah, I paid about twelve quid, something like that. Is Game Warrior, which is cool. I love the Wario games. I haven't played this one yet, but it looks what you expect. It's little mini games, and it's in great condition. So that's going in the Wii U collection. Yeah, I'm not sure yet with the Wii U whether to go for a full set or not because obviously because it's the early days with the console and the games are so cheap it's quite easy to get on top of it now and kind of get the full set now and keep on top of it with all the new releases but then I don't know I think for now I'm just going to buy the games I'm interested in all the ones that are ridiculously cheap and just see how it goes so yes that's cool right what is next okay sticking with the eBay pickups, Mario Tennis Open on Nintendo 3DS. Um, wasn't exactly cheap, I don't think. I think I paid for it's about worth. I paid about nine quid for it. But um, big fan of my handheld, so yeah, no more 3DS titles. I get that, but I am. It's hard to know where to start all this crap around me. Oh yeah, I got this from a Facebook guy. When I say a Facebook guy. I mean, do the Facebook groups they let retro game trader and GGG and all the rest of them. I forget which one this was from because there's so fucking many. I've got it in one of these cases. <sighs> Actually, that's another thing I picked up. Do you know those like these things? Like the um, protected cases. Picked up a load of them from that Sentinel 64. So I've got a load of like um, DVD size ones, N64 size ones, and Game Boy size ones. Um, so yeah, I was very reluctant to buy them at first because they're not cheap. I don't think they're cheap. They work out about a pound each, give or take. But I mean, I've started to get enough games now, and I've, with moving house, I've got them so it's, it protects the ones you want to protect a bit more. But they're actually really good quality. See, so, yeah, I got this Super Mario Brothers Wii sealed, and he only wanted 14 quid for it. And I was like, that's actually it's a good buy for 14 quid sealed. Not quite sealed. Then you can pick this up, but there's a big hole in the seal right about there. Can you see that? I really don't think it's going to show up on camera. But yeah, basically it's not quite sealed. It's like... You still see the Nintendo strip and everything, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I can nearly see the hole there. How about that Goomba? But for 14 quid. Still, it's, obviously it's going to be mint inside. Excuse me. Because it hasn't been used, so that's fucking awesome. Right, charity shop pickups. Um, where I'm living now, here in sunny Worcestershire, Worcestershire, there's um, quite a good row of charity shops, so you can just get them all, boom, 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 in and out with them all and see what they've got. Most of the time they have fuck all. Um, 
I've got a good few bits. I've actually got a Pac-Man board game from one of them, which I haven't got here to show you, but that's pretty cool. 1982 Pac-Man board game, about £1.50 I paid. And then, in the stuffed toy bit, I found these two little buggers. Diddy and Donkey Kong. Um, 99 p each, pound each. But yeah, they're pretty, I don't particularly collect stuffed toys, but these look really cool on top of the shelf, so yeah, I was happy with them. Gives them a bit of a clean, obviously. God knows where they've been. Um, also charity shops was this little thing. I seen it, I was like, what the fuck is that? Retro adapter for Wii. See that? I actually paid 3 99 for it, which, you know, I'm paying money for a charity shop if you ask me. So what this says it is, is you plug it into a GameCube controller of a Wii. And it lets you plug in a, a NES or a SNES controller into this. So you can play like the the um, retro games on the Wii console with the original controller. So if you download it anything from eShop or whatever. Which I think is a really cool idea because that was my big hang up when I was playing like N64 games on the Wii and stuff. It just didn't feel right in the controllers. Donkey Kong Country on the SNES, the button layout didn't work for me at all. I couldn't really get to grips with it. So you can see it's got like, the SNES port that side. Hidden away, it's got like, the NES port that side. And um, yeah, something a bit different. I thought it was definitely worth a go. Um, and also, like I was saying, so they're bringing out this um, accessory for the Wii U, so you can plug in GameCube controllers to the Wii U for Smash, the new Smash Bros. that's coming out. So I'm thinking, I wonder if I can plug this into the Wii U when that comes out as well with the GameCube ports. And I'll be able to use the SNES and NES controller on all the eShop titles there, which would be awesome. So yeah, it's made up. I found that. So yeah, like I said, this is going to be a fairly long video, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to split it into two parts or not, but we will see. Okay, another Facebook pickup. So, I was on one um, of the sites the other day and seen a guy was selling sealed copies of Boom Street for the Nintendo Wii. He had about four copies. I think he sells them for eight, eight quid. So I picked one up. It's got a really weird seal on it. So, see it's pal, it's got the green thing which makes you think I've, I've always been led to believe that means that's a, a UK release, the Green Triangle, right? But it's not, it doesn't have the Nintendo strip. What it does have is this, like, underneath the seal, it's got this, like, hologram sticker, and it says on it, a lot of it's in foreign, but it says, like, nintendo.com.tr. So I'm going to have to check out, because I can't figure out what country that is, .tr. But yeah, I mean, it's the UK release, it's UK V on the back. So yeah, but anyway, this is one of those games where apparently it's an awful game. I wouldn't buy it to play because it's meant to be a pile of shite. But it's probably going to turn into one of the less common Wii titles in 10, 20 years. So it's good to have and keep sealed and all that shizness. Skyward Sword sealed from Argos, 9.99. Just picked this up today. Couldn't really argue for that. Um, so I've got the gold one which comes with the CD, so it's good to have the variant now, which is this is just a single disc copy. Um, for £9.99 for a nice sealed Skyward Sword sitting on the shelf, I think that's a pretty decent price to pay. If you've got an Argos near you, definitely check it out because they've got a few things on offer at the moment. I picked up Dead or Alive 3DS the other week for £4.99. Just picked up today Resident Evil Mercenaries 3D, £4.99. I think they've even got a few Pokemons on DS for cheap. Like I said, I'm not really a Pokemon collector, but yeah. What's next? Alright, this guy. There's a guy on Facebook who's like customising Game Boys. He's, he's um, painting on them basically. And I seen him, I just really liked them. I thought that's really cool. So I bought a few. Well, I brought one, I liked it so much, I went and brought another two. So yeah, I mean, the Game Boys themselves are in fantastic condition, but it's the artwork on the front that makes them, you know, ones of a kind. So there's the first one, it's on a, a grape Game Boy Colour, really nice condition, all there, all works. And yeah, you've got this really cool kind of manga style link on the front. Yeah, so I was really into that. And then, after I brought that and got it, I thought, he's done a really bang on job with that, that's really nice. And it displays really nice on the shelf, it just it just stands out. And I've seen he's done this one. And I was like, I have to have that one to match the other link. This is like the, it's like the Wind Waker kind of style I think it looks awesome. Lovely teal, Game Boy colour. Really made up with that one. 
And then this one, I just could not pass down this one. This is my favourite of all. It's on a um, big, chunky old Game Boy Clear. See what games in there as well. I've got Fall of the Foot Clan in there because this is. He's got a turtles on it. Done Leonardo on it, which everybody on Facebook is kicking off saying Leonardo shouldn't wear. Um, Red, it should be blue, but then he, his argument was originally they were all red. When you look at the front of the NES box, they're all red. See, so yeah, I get where he's going. I think it's cool anyway, I love it. I told him I wanted to do a Bebop and Rocksteady next, because that'd be awesome. Um, on the same Facebook group, actually, I came across a guy who's selling a few Game Boy games and then called The Ryan Shand, who I watch his YouTube videos. So I was like, oh, yeah, I need those Game Boy games, and um, there's a YouTube channel, by the way, and all that. And um, ended up getting a few bits off him. He sorted me out quite a nice bundle. <sighs> Got a nice big box off him. Um, let's start with the Game Boy game. It's, I've got loads of Game Boy games mixed up because I'm so fucking many. Pretty sure these are Game Boy games I've got from you, Ryan, if they're not. Sorry. The first one which he's thrown in was Donkey Kong. Which is cool. I've got, I've got a couple of these now. I need to start sorting out my shit and selling some of this. Got Legends of Wrestling. No. Oh, this thought it was called Legends This is called Superstars. Superstars. Legends of Wrestling is the GameCube one, isn't it? LGN. And that is courtesy of a Chloe Strachan. Monster Max. I haven't played that one. That looks cool. Monster Max. Yeah. Tiny Toons. And there might have been something else, I can't remember. This is going back a week or two ago. So I've got the. Oh, hang on. Little Mermaid. Right, so they were cool, but that's not what I mainly want to I wanted Resident Evil 4 on the Wii. I'm a big fan of this game on the GameCube, love it. I haven't played it on the Wii with the, with the motion controls, but I've been told it's really good. It's all complete, it's all there, really nice condition and all that stuff. So made up to have that in the old Resident Evil collection. Now this is what I really wanted. Paperboy for the Master System. And Ryan, you saw about our damn price and all this was made up. You know, I'm not talking car boot bargain, but you know, us collectors we know the value in things and he sorted me out, so that's cool. It's all there, it's all a nice nick. And the box is in box in oh, there goes the manual, the box is in proper good condition. So yeah, that's cool. I'm thinking, I think I will try and get paper for in every system because it's a game I like and they're not too expensive. So yeah, he's thrown in quite a few freebies for me as well. The Shand. Right, so this is something I really wanted. Body Harvest N64. I've already got the loose cart and he had a loose box. And I was like, oh, you've got to sort me out of the box. And he did, and it's actually way better condition than I thought it would be. I mean, if you look, it's not too dented. Really nice, Nick. And it's all there. I mean, it's all original. It's got the black tray in here, which is how it, used to, it came originally, because I remember it. It's got all your bump, all your uh, posters. It's got the manual, which is lovely. Look at that. So yeah, I was made up to get that, so I can do that now, now with a um, with my um, loose copy of a nice complete Body Harvest. For those of you who don't know Body Harvest, it's an awesome game. I must have put about 100 hours into Body Harvest back in the day. Um, by the team who went on to do the GTA series, and you run around, and you get there's all aliens and shit, and you get into different vehicles, you get cars, bikes, tanks, planes, everything. It's awesome. I don't think it's probably dated that well. Still, I love it. Onto the freebies, Ryan. Sent. A few of these Game Boy Advance inserts, which are always handy if you get a Game Boy Advance insert to throw in. Throwing in a few loose discs. World Championship Snooker 2002 and Sega Base Fishing Jewel on PS2. Awesome. Cheers, Ryan. A few PS2 games. We've got International Superstar Soccer 3. Got an action replay. Cheese disc. Got um, Ricky Carmichael's MX 2002. Which I'll, I'll give that a go. I like them kind of games. 
and also do 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 the Great Escape. That was like the worst rendition of the Great Escape ever, which is cool. And he also threw in this Mortal Kombat Annihilation, which is a film I've never seen. Um, I remember back in the day watching a Street Fighter film with Kylie Minogue, which was awful. But yeah, he reckons this is a good one. So yeah, cheers for that, Ryan. Nice one. Oh, and he also threw in a big hefty envelope of like little spare manuals and posters and all that kind of big bump, like a uh, you know, all this kind of shit. And you know, manuals for like Game Boy stuff and hybrid heaven and just really cool guy, really nice to deal with. If, if you haven't seen Ryan Shand, there's a YouTube channel is the Ryan Shand. He's up there in friggin' Aberdeenshire. Top bloke, go and check him out. Right, what's next? So at the boot sale, this was a Saturday booter. Back where I used to live we didn't have Saturday booters, but here they have Saturday booters. Got PS2 Slim, came with two controllers, all the wires, this beast of a memory card sticking out. Um, the guy wanted 15 for it. Anyway, I, I went there with £11.35 and I thought he spent £1.35. So I was like, I've got 10 quid left. That's all I had in the world. That's every last penny. So he's a nice guy. I was like, I've got 10 quid. Um, I said, it's completely up to you if, you if you want to sell this to me or not. I said, you might get more if you hang on, whatever. So he ended up giving it to me, so that's really cool. So we'll be moving that on probably. But I mean, it was handy for DVD players and shit like that anyway. Um, a few more bits from CEX. I'm beginning lots of GameCube bits from CEX lately. These are all complete as well. I think with CEX, if they don't come with the manual or the disc is all fucked up, they'll charge the same as if it does. So whenever I see them pull out one without a manual and they put it back, I'm not buying it until I find them with the manual. Crazy Taxi, £3.50. I got NBA Live 2005 for a squid. I'm going for a full GameCube set, so if I get it time, I better start buying all the shit. The Incredibles, two quid. And this one I've actually been, I've been after this one for ages and I was determined not to pay any more than a tenner for it. Anyway, they had it there and it was in great condition so I just bought it, 12 quid. Super Mario Sunshine. So this game has eluded me for ages. We're talking 18 months at least. Fucking weird. But anyway, I <laughs> finally got it and it is in a spot on condition. And I mean minty. Proper minty fresh. So I thought, fuck it, for 12 quid, it was there, I was there. Yeah. Now I've got my own sunshine. Awesome. Um, some more Game Boy games. Right, all these I kind of got from eBay, I think, most of them. That's what I'll them. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. KB's Pinball Land. The best pinball game on anything. Love it. I think this is possibly my second or third copy of that dose. So. Pokemon Gold. Still saves, not a fake, always handy. A few Game Boy Advances. Crash 2. Rayman 3. Uh, Hot Wheels, a Stunt Track Challenge. Monsters Inc. And Shrek 2. So they were cool. Now these were in cash generator, cash converters, in the window thing. I've seen a nice condition Mario Land. And it was 99p. So yeah, it's worth 99p all day long. You also had Sonic Advance Choo Choo Rocket Double for 199 And this was sitting on the Choo Choo um, Dreamcast disc. I was like, oh, I think that's meant to come with it. Which, I don't think it is. Obviously, the Dreamcast and the Game Boy Advance didn't link up as far as I know. Links up with the Neo Geo Pocket, I think. Anyway, um, yeah, so I got them both for 199 anyway, which is always good. So that just leaves the yeah. That just leaves my one last. Let's check around. Yeah. So that leaves the one last bundle. Oh no! If you like this, this is an important one. Now this is something else that's eluded me forever. Game Boy Advance SP backlit screen. Once over for ages and ages and ages. Look how much nicer that looks than the front lit ones. 
and it is nice and minty. Didn't come boxed. But yeah, it's lovely. AGS 101. So yeah, I paid top dollar for it really. I paid 40 quid for it, but I had 40 quid sitting in my PayPal. The guy said he'll take 40 quid for it. So yeah, for 40 quid though, I mean, it makes a world of difference between playing the Game Boy Advance games and it's making it look so much better. I advise anyone to get them, even if you have to pay top dollar. It's worth it. So, last bundle. Local guy on eBay selling the SNES with a game that caught my eye. It was up for auction and it was ending in the middle of the day on a Thursday. And I thought that might go, you know, might go cheap enough. So it was a SNES, two controllers, and two games. I ended up winning it £42. £42. So it's SNES, which is a bit yellowy and a bit dirty. It'll clean up alright. Obviously, the yellowing is. Not too much I can do about the yellowing, but you know, it's not going to be the worst of the SNES. So that's that. The uh, original SNES draw, which is really nice, it's actually going to clean up alright. All the buttons are responsive and all that stuff. Come with one of these competition pro pads with all the turbos on the stuff. Alright. And then, this is what caught my eye, which I think makes it worth 42 quid. There you go. Link to the past, Legend of Zelda. Which one I don't have, and I'm really happy to have it now. Which is really awesome. And these have got, this has got to be 30 quid all day long, that hasn't. That's not a bad price for the one. Also came with Battletoads, Battle Maniacs, which isn't the most common of games. So yeah, I was really happy with that bundle. The guy was a complete arsehole, though. Old guy, right? Rock up there. Because he also had, like, um, on his listing, it said, like, Joe posted C, C title kind of thing. Like freight or whatever, and he went to like twelve ninety nine for postage, which is one of the reasons why I thought it's not going to get that high on the auction. But I should be able to go and um, pick her up. Um, so yeah, so go and pick her up. And he, he's the guy's got to be nearly eighty. I was like, oh, I'm having a quick chat with him, um, and just started to get. I checked it out, looking at the stuff as you do to check it is how it's listed, and he was like, you've already bought it. Auction. I said, yeah, I'm just checking it is how it's listed because it might have a fucking big crack in it all. And he's getting a bit arsey anyway. And then um, gave him like 40 quid, 20 pounds. I was just reaching into my, my um, pocket to get the change. I was like, it was 42 pounds. Yeah, keep your shirt on, mate. I'm just I'm trying to screw you out anyway. He had a real ass shoe problem. I asked him, I said, how come, yeah, how come you've got this? You find it in your loft or something? He said, oh no, bought it from the boot sale. And then um, I've never seen. Legend of Zelda sitting out of boot sale, probably because guys like him are buying it. And I, I, he didn't know what it was, he kept on just calling it, he was calling it a NES. So he, he must know something about it. He said, Oh, are you into the money? He said, No, I'll just I'll buy it. Any foot Nintendo one, go around and buy it. Any foot Nintendo one, put them on eBay. You know, this is a guy nearly 80, I mean, old guy, here and age, fucking stubborn old fuck. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why you're not finding good deals anymore, because people know, people know they go for money on eBay. Anyway, He's a bit of an arse, but for 42 quid that bundle makes me happy chappy. I've already got a nice snare, so this one I'm going to clean up, throw it on eBay or one of the Facebook groups and hopefully get some money back for the, uh, the games I'm keeping. And that's me done, so you're all caught up, kind of. Because um, I haven't done a pickups video for a while. With I've moved jobs, I've moved careers, I've moved counties. So a lot's been going on, life happens. But uh, yeah, now I can keep up with stuff and start showing you some more videos. And then, I'm going to start watching all your videos again soon as well because I haven't been on YouTube that much lately. But yeah, it's nice to be back and then catch you all next time.